Yeah, I think Max, you cut loose. I mean, I, I think he's a guy that he's been an anomaly to begin with. I mean, people look at his delivery and it, it screams, obviously, significant arm injury. I know he's gone through it in the past, but I mean, to be able to hold up and throw the amount of innings and throw the velocity, you know, he's kind of an outlier given, you know, his mechanics and, and he knows his body better than anybody else. So I'm going to lean on Max Scherzer. You know, he's obviously the ultra competitor. Rec just ran through it. We've seen his, you know, stuff on the mound when managers try and come and take him out of the game. What he was telling Dave Roberts last year, you know, don't pat me on the rear end, all of that stuff. That's what you love with Scherzer. Now with DeGrom, I think it's a complete opposite. I mean, because we saw last year with Jacob DeGrom, it has nothing to do with the innings. It just has to do with the velocity that he was throwing at. I think you got to manage Jacob DeGrom during the course of the regular season and figure out exactly there was some discrepancy as far as the severity of the injury. We saw Sandy Alderson make a statement, DeGrom push back, all of that stuff a year ago. Now you look at Jake, you want him to stay healthy the entire year, but the most important thing, you want him to be healthy you know, at the end of the season, September, but more specifically October, to give you that one-two punch of DeGrom and Scherzer. There's a lot of injury question marks in that rotation. You know, Moose was just talking about DeGrom. He's the biggest one to me. I don't think he is a given based on all that happened last year. He's going to have to make some adjustments, and we're going to have to see how he fares early on in the season and how the Mets can manage his innings. Uh, you know, he's not the only one. Carrasco, big innings jump for Taiwan Walker as well. What's going to happen with him coming off of that season? So I think the Mets need to basically, this is my favorite phrase for this, wallpaper the staff with potential arms here. Uh, I, I want them to not only add depth to the starting rotation, but I want them to add probably the biggest named guy out there, Carlos Rodon. I know he does not solve the injury risk problem because he's had his shoulder woes in the past and and had some problems last year but he gives you that upper end talent that if he's healthy could really have an impact i don't think they need to go out and get an, another you know big name because realistically they can do that at the trade deadline that's something that can be accomplished later in the year uh you know if they don't have Degrom and scherzer healthy this would all be moot anyway it doesn't matter who else they brought in so to me it's all about just getting healthy making sure you stay healthy and to go back on that I would give DeGrom a little bit more of his own lease just because he knows his body just as well as Max Scherzer and he can handle himself and kind of figure it out. But that said, I think you have to trust in what you've got for the most part to get you through, uh, you know, a majority of the season.